Hello YouTubers and welcome to another video. This time it's about my amazing virtual pinball setup. I'm being a bit ironic. I mean, look how basic this is. Uh, this here is my TV. I got some like three, two, three years ago. I bought it for about 50 or 60 pounds second hand in a second hand uh, electronic shop or second-hand shop, basically. Uh, and I got it mainly to uh, have a bigger screen for my laptop, as you can see at the back there. Uh, in fact, I've been using it on the PS4, and the picture quality of the TV is better than I thought it would be, as you can see here. Look at those. I don't know if you can tell there. I don't know if it's coming through, but the 3D-ness. You see Homer's head there. And generally the 3D effects is fantastic in this. Basically what it is, is the laptop at the back there. It's a six year old laptop. Uh, nothing special about it. It won't run now uh, modern games. To give you some kind of reference, I downloaded Witcher 3 maybe last year. I got it on sale. It runs it maybe about 9 or 10 frames, if that. So it won't run it in low settings. Basically, it won't run the game. It won't run modern games. But it works with Visual Pinball really well. Uh, it's not a bad laptop in terms of spec. I mean, it's an i7 chip. It's only a 2 gigahertz, maybe the second generation i7. Very low i7. Uh, 6 gig of RAM, which is not bad. 4 gig was... Uh, I mean, it's over six years ago now, <clears throat> so excuse me. Uh, eight gig was just coming in as a standard, but four gig was still in, was still in many computers and laptops. This has got six gig. Uh, it's got a dedicated graphics card, which is why it's able to run these these games, the pinball games, well. I would suggest if you're going to do this, get a dedicated, have a laptop or a computer with a dedicated one gigabyte at least uh, graphics card. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. Essentially, I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> look how look how basic. This is why I'm being ironic about amazing. I've got this TV leaning on some books. The laptop's on my uh, PSVR case. My PSVR is not in there, but I've got the laptop on there to give it some height. Very, very basic. Uh, I took the stand off the TV so I could lay it flat. When you run, I'm going to put a couple of links in the description. When you run visual pinball or virtual pinball uh, engines, you've got to have the main uh, screen, your main play field. Uh, you've got to you've got to have it in portrait mode. Typically, the screen would be that way, but the play field loads in portrait mode. Uh, typically, not always. I've had to alter the uh, play field in some of the engines but generally if you follow the links follow I'm gonna put a tutorial link a couple of tutorial uh, one's gonna be a video and that's the video it's by gamesroomsolutions.com uh, his video I think it's Ryan from gamesroomsolutions.com he talks through how to set up uh, visual pinball a very basic video he got me up and running within minutes I was playing my first table, not this one, but I was playing my first table within minutes. Some of the tables are a little bit more advanced. Uh, I won't go into too much detail here now. I'm not going to do a tutorial yet, and I probably won't do one for a good amount of time because I'm still getting used to it. I've only been messing about with the uh, virtual pinball, setting it up for the past few days. Uh, but some tables are a bit more tricky. This one took me a whole evening. The table itself, this was easy, the, the playfield. To get the backlash up, that took a bit of uh, altering, uh, a little bit of... I had to write in the scripts of the actual pinball program. I won't confuse things. Follow the tutorials, the, the two links I'll leave below. Follow them t to the letter and you'll have this up and running within minutes. So there you go, what else can I say there? Uh, yeah, the TV's okay, the picture's great, the sound's crap, so the sound on the laptop's amazing, it's always been amazing. It's a Dell XPS, it's got a subwoofer system, 
one of the best sounding laptops I've ever heard, this. So any sound you'll hear is going to come from the laptop. I'll give you a little demonstration. I'm going to set my camera up on a tripod later. But I'm going to give you a demonstration of how this will work. There you go. So I'm just pressing 5 to put a coin in. I'll press 1 to start the game. You can see there, I'm giving you a close-up of the back glass. It's an animated back glass that is fun. You can see the score there, 0. Let's just show you how this works. So spacebar on the keyboard. Yeah, okay. We'll launch the ball. And, oops, it's the control keys, yep. Oh, I pressed the wrong key. Bear with me for one second. So this will happen when I'm recording. There we are. Okay, spacebar, and you can see I'm just using the flippers here. Anyway, the flippers, I, I've got them set up with controls. The control key. As you can see there. Left control, left clipper. This is the way I've got it set up. Ideally, you want this in a cabinet. You can build a pinball cabinet yourself. Uh, if you look on eBay, they sell them pretty cheap for about £100 here in the UK. But they're very basic ones. £150 maybe. Uh, you can go higher than that. You can build it yourself out of plywood. You wouldn't use a laptop in it. You would use a PC. You would use two screens. One for the main playfield. A lot of people use a 40-inch screen. Uh... This is only 24 inch, by the way, this TV in it. <laughs> Look how good that looks. Uh, but yeah, you'll have the playfield screen and you'll have the black back glass and that'll just be a, a monitor. And then you'll hook them up to a PC and have it all in a cabinet. On the side of the cabinet, you'll have flippers. So you press a button, the flippers will flip. On either side, you'll have a launch button for the ball. I've got a space bar at the moment, but you'll have a button that launches a ball. You'll have buttons for the flippers, and that's how it works. It's very tempting uh, to build one. I'm very tempted. Yeah, that was a bad game. I'm not really playing the game. I'm going to set the camera up. I'll say that again. I'm going to set the camera up and show you a couple of games. I'll show you some gameplay footage. Uh, but as you can see, this is really just to see if my laptop was up for it. I saw another video of a person doing this on their laptop. I'm not the first to do this, but I assumed that my laptop would be okay doing it. And indeed, it does it very, very well. Okay, enough chit chat. Uh, very simple to do. Follow the tutorials, get a second screen or TV, set it up. You only need a, a PC that's maybe been around for the past few years, past five years. A laptop like mine that's now getting too old to play normal games but can still run pinball okay. Probably a quad core will be okay. Four gig of RAM, dedicated graphics card, off you go. Away you go. Uh, let's set this up now on a tripod. And the first game I'll be trying is Scared Stiff. So I'm playing this at a slightly awkward angle. Obviously, uh, the camera's in front of the monitor and TV, so I'm just to the side of it. But I can still see. And I'm hopeless at this game, anyway. I've only just started playing it, so I'm trying to learn the rules. Here we go. As you can see, the back glass. The back glass looks fantastic, all the different animations on it. There we go, multiple. Nice. Damn. I 
So this is an older pinball game, a well-loved pinball game by uh, people who uh, pinheads, people who love pinball, and even like, virtual pinball people love this as well. Uh, virtual pinball players. That's great. Good scary little game. Kind of like the old spooky kind of 80s, 90s horror kind of thing. And everybody loves Elvira, of course. Okay, so I'm back up on the back loss. And there we go. Use the flippers to stop that. So it's got the back glass there is very interactive, which is great, always great in pinball games. I want to play these. It's great to play like this, but to play in a cabinet with a couple of flippers, eventually I'll do it. I'm in no rush to do that. Like I say, my arcade cabinet's coming first. Bar top cabinet, and then this. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing here. Yep. As you can see, this is a fun little pinball game. Okay, let's just try and catch the ball. There. Maybe. There. Okay. Yeah, I mean, playing uh, virtual pinball is... Uh, so playing pinball like this on a big screen, it's close to playing like playing the actual machine. Uh, played lots of different uh, pinball things before, uh, virtual, pinball in virtual reality, pinball on a tablet, pinball on the phone. This is the closest, and this is the best way to play it, apart from playing the actual pinball game. If, you, if you've got the actual game itself, obviously that's the best way. This is the next best way, I think, so I can see why a lot of people like this. Um, it's actually a great little hobby. Trying to download the tables, trying to get them configured correctly. It's a great little hobby, and to build a cabinet is going to be great. Right, so you get the idea of Elvira. Let's go to a different game now. So I'll try not to knock the camera. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's go to a good classic. A game, perhaps... I'm not sure if this is a real game or not. A uh, pinball table. It's obviously a game on that here. I'm not sure if it's a real pinball table, but Ghostbusters. This is an old style pinball game and it's brilliant. I kind of grew up with these very old style pinball games in the arcade. They can hear the Ghostbusters music. Fantastic. Okay, so this one's very, very simple, but oh, loads of fun, as you'll see. Okay, so same thing, launch the ball. Yeah. Just very simple mechanics, but feels truly like pinball. Bloody hard game, but lots of fun. Oh, wow. Okay, as you can see, I'm on ball four. If you look at the top glass there, ball four, you get five balls in these games, which you really need. It's really, uh, it's very quick, easy to drain. 
Uh, drain means that your ball goes down this side or through the middle. But you should learn, there's only a few rules on this table. Uh, and that's just to hit the targets. You can see various targets dotted around. And then the ball will change green. I'm trying to get the ball to change green. I'm trying to show you that. And um, I've not got further than that at the moment. Let's see if I can do it. Lots of fun that one. I'm going to show you another old game as well. Uh, another old pinball game because I, I love these. I think this might be. Let's get to it. I think this might be a player created. Let's speak properly. Player created pinball game. Uh, where is it? Uh, Beatles. Beatles. It could have been a table, I don't know. I didn't play it in the arcade. Uh, I've got a feeling this one might be player made. But this is lots of fun too. Similar to Ghostbusters, it's got a similar kind of backlash. Very simple. And the play field is very simple, or like Ghostbusters. But this is also lots of fun. So let's just start again. Okay. And you're just hitting targets. Simple pinball hitting targets. There's probably rules. I've not learned them yet. But very simple to play. Simple to play but lots of fun. Very difficult, obviously. So as you can hear, lots of different Beatles musics in the game and that's what makes it so brilliant. The artwork is beautiful. Excellent game. Typically, I'm recording, I'm playing crap. Usually, I'm okay at this. There you go. That's pinball for you. Okay, so there's lots of different soundtracks on this. That's what made this one. Again, to configure this, it wasn't just the case I could get the table up and running, the back glass, simple black glass. Ah. Anyway, uh, simple back glass, so that's the back screen you can see, and play field. That was up and running as soon as I installed the table. 
what wasn't installed is the music and I had to download I think an mp3 pack and maybe even a ROM file go through the tutorial in the link I'll put below uh, it will explain all those things F FP forums visual pinball forums explains that you've got to read through it don't just rush it um, it will explain it that's why I learned it I learned it quickly what I've been doing this for the past few days and I've already got a number of tables I've got to get the front end which means I can switch between tables without coming out of them and a nice front end for that lots of little things to do but lots of fun okay next last table I want to show you is actually a future pinball table so let's get out of this let's try not and knock the camera go there, thank you, and we'll go here, visual pinball, let's go here, future pinball is there, we'll start it up. I've only got one table on this, but it's one of my favourites because you'll see them on. Uh, it's just one of my favourite themes for a table. Not necessarily my favourite table, but the theme of it is my favourite, as you'll see. Let's go though. Same kind of style as Visual Pinball, really. That's the one. Okay, this takes a bit longer to load, so... You're going to have to be patient here. We'll go to play table, of course. There's a bit more going on in Visual Pinball. Uh, it's a bit more advanced. I prefer... Sorry, Future Pinball is a bit more advanced than Visual Pinball. I think it's a bit newer, perhaps. I don't know about that. I'm only just getting into this hobby, so... Uh, but it's certainly, yeah, it feels more advanced than... The tables certainly feel more advanced and newer. Uh, and flashier, as you'll see. You see this one is Masters of the Universe. I, as a child, I used to collect the Masters of the Universe uh, figures. So He-Man, Skeletor, Evil Lynn, Beastman, Man at Arms. I think I had or Oracle. I had loads of different Cyclops or whatever he was called. Uh, loads of different figures. And I think I had Castle Grayskull and Snake Mountain as well. I, when I say a little kid, I mean this was what? This was over 30 years ago, so I, I was literally a little kid. and loved them. My brother had Star Wars figures, the original Star Wars figures. I think he had the 8080 Walker, hundreds of figures, Millennium Falcon. If we kept hold of those toys, my goodness, we would be uh, very rich by now. I mean, I had probably up to 20, 30 figures. I played with them, some were broken, most were okay and still in good condition, I just used to collect them. We gave them away uh, when we stopped playing with them. We had no idea they would become so so sought after, especially Star Wars. And yeah, that's a story. Uh, but anyway, that's why I love Master of the Universe, I used to collect them, play with them. And this table is definitely flasher, it takes a lot, lot longer to load up. Than visual pinball which should give you an idea it doesn't play as well for me I've only tried this table I, I've got a feeling my laptop's not quite up to it I've had to lower a couple of settings it plays smoothly enough it doesn't seem to skip frames but it plays a lot slower and a lot more computery if that makes sense the other games they play like pinball this one doesn't quite get there is the only way I can explain it. But the theme of this, I think if I build a cabinet, obviously I'm not going to use my laptop in the cabinet, I'm going to use a PC. I'll put a decent graphic card in. Okay, I'll stop talking, it's almost loaded. You'll see for yourself in a moment how it plays. Great, right, look at that. And listen to that. It's just, this is why I wanted this table, the, the theme of it, the sounds of it. Okay, let's get going. Uh, one thing I will say at the back there, you can see it's just a pretty much static uh, 
There's a couple of the lights behind the Masters of the Universe logo and He-Man and Battle Cat, but it's pretty much that's it. So it's very sort of ordinary, the backlash. But it does keep an eye on your skull. Listen to that. Everybody loves a bit of human. Or they should. Yeah, it plays okay. Not quite as good as visual pinball. To me that just feels and plays better. It could just be this table. It could be my uh, laptop, rather. It's not quite up to the power of these newer tables. But as you can see, it plays it well. Let's try and get something going here, because it's it's an incredible game when things are happening. It's a very flashy game when things... very spectacular when we get lots of lights going. Okay, so as you can see, there's a few lights. Uh, hopeless. Let's listen to the human theme. One level. There you go, look at that. As you can say, I don't know if you can tell, but it just doesn't play as good as Visual Pinball. It's an enjoyable game, nonetheless. I spent a bit of time on it. I've learned a few of the rules, uh, like locking walls and the various ramps do different things. I'm hitting that skeletal thing does something as well. Brings the barrier down and then you can hit him again, I think. I went round the back of the drain thing and uh, kept in play. That was that was an amazing shot. Oh, that's... This music you can hear now is actually part of the He-Man cartoon. I think it's Oracle's theme. There's a little magician guy. I think this was his theme, if I remember rightly. It's just I think it's a spectacular. Pinball game to play. Uh, I just prefer the visual pinball titles. Okay, if I get another ball on that He Man figure there to your right, I get multiple ball. And I just missed it. Uh, okay, I've got skeletals, barrier down, let's try and do something here. And it's drained, of course. The barrier will go from the skeletal, but the multiple possibility will stay will keep so I'm just gonna get one more ball on that multiball basically. Let's try and start multiball. There's multiball. You see the little TV there, you can see it just to your right Middle right. That's fantastic. Shows the old human cartoon. Right, here we are. Here's, you can see all the lights going now. Very flashy. This is about as flashy as this game gets. Or any pinball game gets. Look at this. Yeah. Well, of course, I lose all my balls. Anyway, guys, you get the idea. For me, yep. 
it's worth trying if you have a PC that's you know from the past few years you have a laptop maybe similar to mine it doesn't have to be an i7 it could be an i5 quad core perhaps with a dedicated graphics card uh, try this hook it up to your TV take the stand of your TV hook it up this is worth trying um, it's very tempting now to build a pinball cabinet an actual cabinet to hold all this in or to hold a PC and a couple of uh, screens very tempting Hi, right. hope you enjoyed and see you soon.